pay you guys. Can I get a witness? Anybody, anybody know Jesus? He make a difference in your life. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wreck like me. Oh, no, no. I need a, tamper a tambourine. I wonder how much tambourines cost on Amazon. Girl, get together. All right, you guys. It's time for another chit chat. Let me get everything out of the way. And um, I'm a little bit perturbed because I had my notes down on what I was going to talk about. I had it down like approximately, girl, approximately. I had it down like a couple of days ago and then I lost it, like literally recently. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to show y'all some things that I purchased. Baby, I've been spending a lot of money and this is, it's just, it's too much. I've been overspending. I really have. So anyway, you guys, for this chit chat video, I'm going to be setting my hair in twists. Now, my hair is in mini twists. And sure enough, I was video chatting with my husband a couple of days ago. No, just yesterday. Because, you know, we were just talking about what's going to be going happening. And he's like, what's that stuff in your hair? Not talking about the twists, but I had the beads. And my husband doesn't like the beads. He just doesn't. I mean, he's in his 50s. He doesn't like the beads. So he's like, isn't that something for kids? First of all, I know you don't like the beads. I, I, I'm going to take that down before my ass gets up there and see see you. So don't, don't comment about the beads. Okay. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm still using this oil. And this is, look at that. My hair is growing. This is how long my hair is now. Okay. So I'm going to add some to my scalp. I'm going to add some to my hands to help to unravel the twist. So, all right, y'all, how are you guys doing? Ciao. <laughs> Even though I've now, we've now been in, in back in Texas, this is our second year back in Texas, I haven't really shared a lot of the area we live in. Those of you who don't know, again, we live outside of Dallas in a small foreign land community called Forney. When I tell you this is foreign land, it's foreign land. So going to go pick up JB at his school and dropping him off at school. Ooh, y'all. Now, I it's been a few days. Hold on. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on. This is... All right, you guys. So, anyway, what were you talking about? Anyway, so... I've been here for like almost two years, going on two years, right? And so we are definitely in farmland. Whenever we drive around, especially taking JB to school, uh, which is the back roads, there's animals everywhere. There's mostly cows, so, but there's cows, there's goats, there's donkeys, there's mules. Mules are basically donkeys and, and a horse breed, basically. I think they are. Um, there's milk cows, there's longhorns, there's horses, all types of horses. And when I tell you guys, the the scenery especially there's certain areas in texas a lot of people and i think i mentioned this before a lot of people assume that texas is flat and that's mostly because if you're driving through let's say you're driving through new mexico that area odessa that lubbock area is flat that's southwest but when you come up towards the north texas and especially east texas it's hilly and it's very green and it's absolutely very beautiful there's one part of the city where we go around through the back corner <laughs> and i told jb i said this reminds me of that scene from funny farm do y'all remember that movie funny farm with chevy chase and i forgot the other woman where they pet they purchased this farm and it's basically turns out to be a lemon and everything's falling apart right but it is very beautiful like that especially when you can see the animals out in the open and you know it's just an absolute beautiful area so even though i get very frustrated and i try not to talk about it because i want my children to be positive we are and i have let other people here know in forney this we are how should i put it we are disappointed in this city for the simple fact that we i'm not gonna get into detail but we're just disappointed either and I speak to several people that have lived here and um and they speak to me too too child. So 
especially the OGs, the old heads, the ones that moved here. I want to talk to the people that been moved here 12, 15 years ago. They're telling me, oh, we're leaving. This is this is not what we this is not. And child, don't don't get them if they real conservative. They're like, all oh, those people coming from California. <laughs> I'm like, uh uh, they're not coming from California. They're coming from Mesquite. They're coming from Dallas. They're coming from South Dallas. They're coming from not necessarily the Carrollton area. What is that up there? Sherman. They're coming from those areas down to, but they are besides the people here which it could be some of the people and it's getting like this every everywhere i know it is i know it is for the simple fact that speaking to um, some of my friends that still live in phoenix they're telling us that that neighborhood is a hot mess now and 12 years ago that was the place to be it now yeah you still got houses in that area that are going for half a million dollars girl i say all of it to say i finally shared some footage of the area that we live in on instagram and facebook and people were like oh my god it's so green there it's it looks so peaceful mostly on my facebook page i'm like yeah it's beautiful it's all right you guys so look i've already started taking down my hair i had to pause for the calls to speak to my husband um, I keep going back and forth on when I'm going to be going to Houston again, like I stated, but I'm trying to figure out when to go. Um, he's stating if we leave around 10, we won't get there to two because the traffic is going to be, the traffic's going to be crazy on Friday. So in order to get there before he leaves for work by one, we have to leave by seven because that downtown houston area is no joke even without traffic it takes me 45 minutes to get through all that y'all anyway so that's what's going on the babies are taking um testing um at jb school like i was saying earlier i'm sorry about that i'm all over the place i know so jb was getting testing anxiety because my baby is the type of child he hangs on to the details so before any of this started like nearly two months ago he said mommy um they told me that this test is to determine where we're at you know he's getting all nervous he's like mommy they're they're testing us to see if we can move on to fourth grade next year i said baby you'll be okay but to help him to feel at ease i spoke to his teachers ahead of time and asked them what can i do to help him at home and so we went through multiplication again and we went through and talked about some things and the thing with jb is he gets so nervous and riled up that he'll read something very fast and skip through it because he has dyslexia and so he has to read something probably at least three times when I'm working with him. And then I ask him if he understands. I'm not even going to base that off of a yes or no. I need him to explain to me what it means, no matter how long it takes. So that was making me nervous too, because I'm like, he's really not comprehending things. And if he does, there's still a delay. So I spoke to his teacher the week before, last week. I raised my concerns and I'm like, you know, and just to let you, Jamie's having some anxiety about testing. And so I guess she's spoken to the, uh, the principal and they have agreed that JB and another child would be testing separately and they will be, you know, basically reading the questions and doing what they're supposed to do with children that have, you know, learning challenges. That was his school. Again, um, I bought in corn chowder for the teachers letting them know i mean you know, i appreciate what they've been doing and so they were sending me messages saying you know it tastes so good thank you girl i knew it tastes good i could cook hell <laughs> no it's something i came up with not came up with i been eating at panera bread and they have a summer corn chowder when i tell you that thing it's so good and one time before i put it in a bread bowl girl carved carved the hell out so I was eating and I'm like, you know, I can make this at home. Let me save my $8. Actually, I can make this at home for $8 and it'll last me a whole week. So that's what I did. But I shared it with the kids. I mean, with the teachers at his school. Um, So that's what it is. Y'all, let me tell you something. These taxes in Texas are no joke. No, <laughs> no freaking joke. So we, we did good when we purchased our house and that we put down so much money that our mortgage 
mortgage, excuse me, is cheaper than some apartments. It just is because that's how we, you know, what, what we were able to do. Well, those taxes, when I tell you it was, how much was it? A little over $8,000. A little over $8,000. And I'm like, what is <laughs> absolutely crazy? That's going on. So yeah, y'all, that's the, let me show y'all some stuff I've been purchasing because it's a lot of stuff. Girl, it is a lot. All right, so I think I have a little over 60 twists. And so let me put some of this up. Well, first up is we're going to do the beauty stuff first. So I, when I'm over my, my best friend's house, I be going through her stuff. I mean, look, let me tell you guys something. We've been best friends for, gosh, going on 23 years. So she's like a sister to me. Now, granted, I mean, so we, you know, Granted, we are very careful. You know, it's not like I'm going through her panty drawer. No, but I I stay back. And then she says, so go ahead and come on. So, you know, we be chilling in her bedroom. I was over her place and she had this Bath and Body Works open sky. When I tell you this stuff. So, because I'm all over Amazon, I purchased mine through Amazon. Mm, why does it? Yeah, it smells good. It smells good. Okay, purchase that for my skin. I'm back on the skin. Like I said, this is what I look like up close. Getting better. But see, I got darkness over here. Doc's force is definitely over here. You see that? That needs to. So I'm giving myself another month of skin regimen on deck because I've only been doing this for about a month and a half. So honestly, it takes a good three months for your skin to get to, in my opinion, to get to optimal health when you introduce some new products. And so I have a couple of things that are new and I will be having a full on updated skin regimen video coming up here soon. Now, y'all gonna find this funny. I call myself purchasing uh, the stretchy bands. Oh, let me show y'all. And Hold on, let me show y'all. These stretchy bands to try to, you know, uh, work out my glutes and my legs and stuff. So, you know, on Amazon, when she was putting this on on her thighs, I was like, okay, come on, Chelsea. You know, so this is what you're supposed to do, right? Now they were laying flat on her. Okay, so okay, medium. Well, that's the damn problem. I got a medium. I'm just not reading it. This says, wait a minute. Are these all medium? Hold on. Yeah, my slow butt. I'm thinking that it's sizes. It's not sizes. It's the, how should I say it? How the strength of the actual band. So we got light, medium, and heavy. Okay, well, let me show you what the light look like. Okay. Miss Jacko Fox. All right, light. Now see, that's one. That's one leg. One big ass leg. Now let's, girl. Okay, so, let's see, when Abigail did it, hers were flat. This right, girl, that ain't working, okay? This ain't working. The light, the light ain't working. So let's move on to medium. Okay. Let's see. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but I need for it to be. Oh hell no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Woo. Girl, the workout hasn't even started. Okay, medium. Okay. Yeah. So when I do this, you see there? And then I can do this. Girl, 
Now let's go to heavy. So I, clearly I'm a medium heavy type of woman. You, you already know. Yeah, the heavy is where it's at. Yeah, thank y'all for helping me with this. See how I, I love y'all so much. Girl, that's my second workout of the week. Um, all right, so we got heavy and medium. Okay, I feel good. I feel good. So we got that. I showed y'all this already. Um, yeah, that light. JV could play with that. All right, so girl books. I'm still purchasing books. I <laughs> Y'all, this since January or this year alone, I purchased a little over 20 books. Now ask me how many have I read? I will say that I've been so busy with work and life in general, I haven't read a lot, but I do take my book when I go pick up JB, a book when I go pick up JB, because I pick him up and I sit there for about 20 minutes and I read, okay? So let me show y'all some books. I think I already showed y'all this thinly, Donovan Jumps the Gun. I have all her entire series. I really do enjoy this author, okay? I'm a big um, fan of supporting, I don't know if that's the right word, but of supporting local businesses. So there's a bookstore here and I've been wanting to go in there. And so JB and I went in here. Absolutely adorable when I went in. Like one half of it had the old school um children's school classroom poster boards and stuff great ideal place for people who homeschool i loved it and then she had a little basket as soon as i was walking out the door she had a little basket that says three dollars to five dollars i said these books are three dollars she said yes yeah. so i got some great 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 um preteen and adolescent books yeah i'm a big fan of adolescent books look and especially teen i'm all christopher pike yeah that's my favorite. And R. L. Stein. What you know about R? <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I got the tiny mansion. JB said he wants to read this first. Um, Santiago's Road Home. These are so cute. The Monsters at Roke Haven. Absolutely adorable. Sometimes the monsters take us. Sometimes we become the monsters. Interesting. Let me kind of look in there. I love it. And then the last one is called Maybe a Mermaid. Isn't this adorable? But I'm going to finish my fin Finley Dun Donovan book before I jump into these kids' books. Oh, and then because, <laughs> you know, there's always a side to us that we, we don't want to tell people about. But we do have a, 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 a part of us. Thug Matrimony by Wahida Clark. Come on, Wahida. Um, $3. Thug Matrimony. And so, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I got it because it was $3, but it started off real nasty. It's one of those. I'm like, let me see if I can find a part that I can read for y'all to a ratchet part. It's a lot of cursing and I don't like, I don't, look y'all, I curse, but I don't like to read novels that are graphic like this. So, here's chapter one. F the groom, I'm here for the bride. She's my woman. Can you tell her snack is here and he needs to talk to her? As if on cue, his boys came inside. There were five of them and every one of them was strapped. Snake, you're Kenan's, you're, you're, you're Kenan, her ex? Trina glared in disbelief. He gave her this look that said, what the F you, you know what? Maybe I, no, that's too much. I'm gonna last, all right, you guys, last thing I'm going to show you, I got this cute little spring purse that I purchased through Shein because I don't have a green purse. I don't. So I had, yeah. Ain't this adorable? It's a little cheap, though. This is a little smaller. <laughs> I know, but it is. It's a little smaller than what I would like, but this is cute for date night and going to go do something real cute like, yeah. All right, you guys, what I'm watching on YouTube. Now, <clears throat> now, trigger warning, disclaimer. I, of course, heard about that. I'm going to curse a little bit more than what you guys are used to. I do apologize, but I can't hold it back. I saw that shit, the Dalai Lama. Let me tell you something. 
And I agree with what others have said. This is why you really cannot hold certain people to a higher standard. I, I, I really do feel that way. I'm not surprised by nothing now. There's nothing that really surprises me. What I'm meaning that I'm not surprised by the actions of someone to do some bullshit like that. But as a parent, I'm surprised that a parent will allow that to happen that long. I couldn't watch all, all of the video. And matter of fact, I wanted to go through YouTube and um, I'm going to put some up here, you guys. I'm sorry. I wanted to go through YouTube and kind of like flag all the videos that were showing it because technically, in a way, isn't that child, isn't that, in a way, isn't that child P? I'm, I don't want to say the entire word. I don't want to get flagged. But isn't that, or S-A, isn't that? How the hell is YouTube allowing those videos to still, <clears throat> apparently he apologized. No, absolutely disgusting. I'm still watching a bit of true crime. Um, and what I'm really am into now is cold cases. It amazes me how many people are actually aware of a crime and they don't come forward either due to fear or it's mostly fear. So um, so I was looking at a short that had came up and it was Beyonce's clothing line and it had an almost avant, how do you say it? avant guan like court contour, basically some stuff that nobody's saying wear, it's just, you know, stylists and stuff they would wear at the, excuse me, celebrities would wear it like the Met Gala. But before I could even, I don't know, y'all. First of all, let me just say this. I'm not one to jump on the bandwagon of, oh, that's the money, that's the money, that's the money. I think she's a witch, blah, 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 blah. But there are something, I'm, I'm just being honest. And so are there some things that people do in this industry, in Hollywood, and we just talked about this, that's very dark and demonic? Absolutely. There's no denying it. And it's getting to a, a place, in my opinion, whether you believe it or not, it's getting to a point to where they are throwing it in our face. Like there's no denying it. They are throwing it all the way out in your face. So I saw like a few seconds of this line, which is almost, I guess it's a visual representation of her album. It was very dark y'all. To me, it, 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 it made me feel a bit uncomfortable. It was dark and you, it was, I don't know. So girl moving on, why I'm watching on TV, Netflix, I got Amazon Prime for seven days. Uh, what I'm watching, y'all. So, I'm watching a lot of stuff, actually. And this particular time around, I started to watch a lot more movies. And so, I watch them. At first, I didn't want to do it. Because them, in my opinion, is trauma porn. Porns. It's basically about a black family that decides to move into Compton when Compton was up on rising and was primarily white. And that's how it is in a lot of areas that are now predominantly black. They initially started off as being working class, working middle class um, white people, but as black people, working class black people started to move into those neighborhoods, the white people were like, oh, hell no, we gotta go. So they ended up leaving those neighborhoods. Um, so this goes on that to where this is a black family that moves into a predominantly white neighborhood. When I tell you the woman that plays the mother, she is absolute to me, she is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. I love her skin tone. She has a nice shape. She is chocolate. She is absolutely breathtaking, beautiful. So them is one of those type of series to where there were certain episodes that were really good and the other, other parts were like, what in the hell is going on? This doesn't make any sense. I say watch it again, them is on Amazon Prime. And so while I'm on Amazon Prime, I decided to watch a bunch of old stuff that I've seen a thousand times, like um, Out of Time with Denzel watching his fine ass and Obsessed with Beyonce. Yeah, the reason why I like Obsessed primarily is because that crazy ass chick. <laughs> Y'all, when she got, first of all, when she showed up to uh, just 
walk into his car, open up the door and sit down. And she's talking to him. And all of a sudden, she's like, Psh, showing him in that outfit. If y'all notice the lingerie set she has on, well, you don't probably don't notice. If you remember, if you don't, I'm going to remind your ass. The lingerie outfit she had on is black. But then it has like pink patches and the pink patches are over certain parts of her body, of her breast and a pink patch over her pocketbook, over her Kunta Kente. Well, it's not Kunta Kente for her. Watch Out of Time. Oh, another one that was really good is I See You with Helen Hunt. I haven't seen Helen Hunt in a long time. She, she's, she's older, but it's called I See You and you would think that it's like, at first, it's suspenseful, and it still is a suspenseful thriller, and you think it's going to be scary. It is kind of scary, but it's not what you think. And I believe um, that's on Amazon Prime, too, but where did I see it at? It's either Netflix or Hulu, you guys. I do apologize, but it's called I See You. Really good. Well, not really good, but it's good. I wasn't expecting it. Um, something I want to watch, but I'm I'm not in the mood to be paying for all these things. But let me tell you something. I'm sick of getting something and it says, try it out for seven days. How about I try it out for 15 days? Stars, Paramount Plus. I'm sick of this because it's all stars. Because right now I got, I got Hulu, I got Sling, and I got Netflix. Sling decided up their prices. Netflix decided up their prices. I think I got something. I was this close to getting Hulu with Paramount Plus for another eight or nine dollars. I'm not doing that. Y'all not gonna trap me because I want to see Yellow Jackets. I really, I really want to see this series, you guys. It has what is her name? First of all, it has Christina Ricci, and it has the other actress. When she was younger, she played a National Lampoon Christian uh, uh, Christmas Vacation. No, she was the daughter. What is her name? I'm forgetting her name. I love her about it. There was a movie I saw called Nope on Amazon Prime, and it has Old Boy from Wakanda. He was the one that, I, yeah, I know. I should know people's name. I'm going to be putting the names below. Nope, he's with his sister, and they are farmers, and his father, the good voice actress, the voice actor, he played the cat. He also played the, look, I told you, I know who these people, I know what they're playing. <laughs> And Princess and the Frog. Yeah, I know who I'm talking about. I'm going to put his name down below, too. So, he plays the father. But this is one that's done by um, Mr. Peel. And when you're first watching it, you think, thinking, oh, my God, this is going to be scary. What it's about. This is about aliens. This is about UFOs. Again, it is not what you think. It's one of those that has different layers. I will probably watch it again because I would just so entertain. Hold on, y'all. I forgot to add the serum. I'm going to watch it again because I was so entertained by it. And not only am I going to do this, I'm going to do these up front. Nah, I was going to do them smaller, but I'm not. Didn't enjoy it. But the most disturbing thing, the most disturbing scene. Oh, and then it had Glenn from um, Walking Dead, <clears throat> the Asian guy, Glenn. The most disturbing scene, y'all. And you're going to agree with me if you've seen the movie. That damn chimpanzee scene. Let me tell you something. You cannot have monkeys as friends. I'm sorry, but you, you you need to get some real friends. But very similar. This was very similar to the incident with Travis, that chimpanzee that ended up ripping the face off that woman. And those of you who don't know, because I have a disturbing side to me, part of that... Um, that woman ended up passing a few years ago. The woman who had her face ripped off by the chimpanzee, Travis. <clears throat> Not only that, but the owner also passed away of the... That entire... That just shows you how traumatic things in your life can have a huge effect on you, your mental wellness, and your health. And that can honestly affect your immune system. Her family, meaning the woman that owned Travis, was riddled with deaths. Because if I remember correctly, when she was married, because she was married, um, her daughter, they she had a daughter at one point, unfortunately died in a car accident. That's when her and her husband decided to get this chimpanzee named Travis. Travis walking around with bananas and shit like he's on, you know, Nella Inn Island. <laughs> 
you ain't you ain't Michael Jackson, and this ain't this ain't Bubbles. This is freaking Travis. Travis is a big ass boy. Um, y'all, I messed up. See, that's what I get for talking. So anyway. The father ended up passing away. So then she's left with Travis and herself on this property. But every now and then, she has visitors. And they all know about Travis. But, but Travis is also on some psych meds. So he had a little incident. Girl, not even a little incident. Where he acted out. And the only person he could get to was the owner's friend. And she, he literally did tour. He tore her face off so y'all y'all anyway back to no there's a cup there's a scene that's very similar to that you don't see it but what makes it you don't visually see it you have to imagine it but that's what makes it so disturbing because you can see what he's doing you can see it was a little girl he was doing it too to make it even more sad you can see the little girl feet moving around and screaming and then you can hear him go and attack another person child i would say this is the most disturbing thing i've seen in a long time snowfall by now y'all should have seen it a couple of a couple of episodes if not disclaimer spoiler i'm gonna say some stuff i knew that somebody was gonna die and i told y'all i felt like it was gonna be either franklin or his his um fiance or hector i know his name is hector um the mama jerome jerome's wife and it turned out to be jerome y'all when i tell you tell you i gotta look a little choked up at that i'm like okay vivian this is a damn show it's, this is not real but you knew it was happening we all could feel something was gonna happen now i'm all caught up and i just don't think how i just don't know how things are going to end out so great from franklin i feel like he is he's gotten to a point to where he's so greedy he doesn't care about anything but himself, oh, well, he cares about his fiance to a certain degree. But I think if he really, if he really cared about her, he wouldn't put her in certain situations. Like he killed that man's daddy in front of her. She's pregnant. She can't be witnessing stuff like that. That's traumatic to her, for her. That's in front of her and her mama. Chill. I'm like Franklin, baby. You need to. You need to. You need to call somebody. This is too much. All right, you guys, what else, what else, what else? I watched another movie that I love with Blake Lively and Anna something, A Simple Favor. I like Blake Lively. Well, That's it, y'all. I'm all over the place. My job is very busy, so I need to go ahead and answer some emails here. That is it. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all... Girl, what the hell? So, thank you so much for watching, and thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.